on uh, Trucking Adventures number one, Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to do our first delivery. Uh, I'm also going to go through the game and uh, talk about uh, some of the updates that have recently happened and everything. This is this is a walkthrough from the beginning, so right from the beginning, uh, first truck, everything. But we'll get more to that when we get into it. Uh, before before we do that, though, make sure you like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch to get to 120 followers. Uh, so if you do follow, watch me on YouTube or you watch me on watching this after on Twitch, make sure you follow. Also subscribe on YouTube as well if you want to see more of this because the playlist will go over there to see obviously future episodes as this is number one and see other stuff that I do. Uh, and make sure to check out the other social media as well. For, that, uh, for example, my Instagram to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing. Right, let's get into today's episode and sort of explain what's going on so here we are we are we are in euro truck simulator 2 uh this is being recorded currently on the 5th of february 2024 i have played this game before i've played it many times this game's been out for i think 12 years now maybe i think 12 years uh they've, they've obviously just done a recent match uh map expansion pack they've obviously got loads of dlcs if you've never played this before, this is like a good way to know uh, of what's going on. If you have played before, you kind of know what's going on. So when you load in, you uh, pick obviously where you want to start and you pick your favorite truck and you pick all that sort of stuff. I've done that already um, because I've set up a steering wheel and a joystick and everything. And so I had to go in and do all those settings. Otherwise, you'd see all that and it'd be about 45 minutes of me just doing settings. So. We've done all that already. We're in. We're ready to do our first load. So let's get ready. Let's drive. Let's see what we are going to do. So here we are. We're in the truck now. Uh, oh, my God. We are rolling forward. Uh, let's put the brake on if we can. That is the camera angle. <laughs> I forgot my I forgot my brakes already. No, I haven't. Uh that's setting up the map. I've already forgotten my buttons. There's so many different buttons, I've already forgotten them. There we go, it's on top of the gear lever. Right, so uh, here is our truck. Let's actually go to the second angle. Here is our truck, our very lovely, lovely truck. We are taking some logs. Uh, my favorite design is the Mercedes. You have different designs though, uh, and we are starting in London, where I currently live. Um, uh, you have MAN, M or M-A-N, DAF, D-A-F. <laughs> Mercedes, Volvo, Scania, Renault, uh, Renault, Renault, depending how you say it, depending where you're from. Uh, is there any others? Is there any, I feel I feel like I'm forgetting one. I feel like there's seven. Mercedes, Scania, <laughs> Volvo, M A N Man, Daf, Renault. And Iveco or Iveco. I've I've always called it Iveco. I've heard people say Iveco. But anyway, we're taking some logs here from London up to Cambridge. It's a 75 mile journey, one hours and 41 minutes. So let's get on our way. Here we are with our lovely our lovely logs. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll be getting on our way. So let's take the handbrake off and let's get out of here. Have I got to change the gears? I think I have. I've put the gears the wrong way around as well. I've put the down on that there. I didn't actually... I wanted like a full automatic, if I'm honest. Uh, right, we are going... As you can see down the sat-nav down below. Oh, this is awful. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I actually need to go into the settings. This is awful. What the hell? What have I done here? Um, gameplay. That is awful. Where's the... No. Sequential. No. Real automatic. We'll put it to real automatic. Uh, and keys and buttons. These are all the settings you can do. Um... Right, shift up is actually that one, and shift down is that one. 
I did it the wrong way around. But there you go. You got in some settings. You could obviously set in there as well, like your your settings for your um. There we go. Uh, you can set um. I just want to have a look. Out that way, that way. It's clear that way. We're going this way. Right, we can pull out. Um, you can set up what buttons you want to use, uh, how realism you want everything. So um, obviously your your settings, camera settings. Um, oh god, we're speeding. It's thirty along here. We don't want to get fined on our first day. Um, but yeah, I've played this quite a lot before. I had this since when it first came out. Now, when this game first came out back in 2012, you had uh, the United Kingdom, England, Scotland, Wales. You had half of France, all of Germany. They really just copied and pasted the UK truck simulator and German truck simulator. You had a whole of Austria, I believe, northern Italy, the whole of Switzerland, Belgium and the Netherlands. Um, what else did you have? Uh, and you had... North East West Poland. So like the, the longest delivery you could you could do was I think Liverpool Liverpool to Walsall was sort of the best one you could do. And I did diesel all the time. You get about 160,000 pounds per one. Now I've got all the all the the map extension packs on this. And uh we'll we'll show that when we get to the end of how big this has actually gotten. Uh can we pull in this lane? You're gonna let me over. Yes, you're letting me over. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. That is not the hazard lights. But yeah, we need to break, 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 break. That's the hazard lights. There you go. I said thank you to him. Right, let's go around here. So we are starting off in the UK. This is a map from all the way back in 2012 that has not been updated. Uh well, it has been updated, but not a lot. The only the only bit I think to be updated actually is um in Portsmouth, Plymouth, Portsmouth, um, the bottom of the map where they added on, obviously, a ferry link to get to Spain, the Iberia add-on. We can pull out. Thank you to the yellow mini. There you go. It's the bottom one. Uh, right, we're pulling out and we're getting our, getting our way here. We've still got roadworks along here. As you can tell, the M25 we're on now, the UK's longest ring road. I think the world's biggest ring road. Um, not updated to four lanes yet, like it should be. 50 through here. We're getting to the end, though. Now we can go off, and we're going to turn northwards. Uh, Cambridge. 60 mile an hour now is the speed limit. Um, but yeah, uh, you, you've, you've got the, obviously the Scandinavian add-on that came in, that came in going East was the first add-on, which added on Eastern Europe, well, not all of Eastern Europe, like central Eastern Europe. Um, and then you had, um, the Scandinavian add-on, I believe, uh, was next. And then after Scandinavian add-on was Viva la France, the French add-on, which redeemed the whole of France. And then after France, I, 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 I want to say it's the Italian one. I think it was Italian before Iberia. Oh, my God, I'm keeping my lane. I'm just looking all over at the moment. I want to get in this lane here. Um... That's the horn. We're going a bit slow here. I've forgotten which button I've done for cruise control. Um, we'll figure it out. We're not going fast enough to hit the cruise control yet anyway. Obviously, I've got all brand new buttons for this. I've, I, bought, I literally bought a whole brand new steering wheel. Uh, and um, there we go. There's the cruise control. There we go. I'm going to push it up to 60. There we go. Um, and, and all new controls for this and to do other simulator games I will also do in the future as well. Um, this is this is going to be a really rough, ready episode, this one. 
because getting back used to the game, used to the serial, used to everything. Um, but this is kind of like the first experience of what people are when they're playing. They're not going to be... They've obviously set up all their buttons and everything. They're not going to be that familiar. They're, they're not going to really know all the map or everything. They're not going to really know how to how to play. Obviously, I'm, I think I'm driving better than most newbies. Um, but again, it is the first, it is the first load. You kind of just want to, you know, not rush this one. Oh my God, the lean on that. Not rush this one. Take your time. No speeding. You definitely don't want to get any fines because fines in the early stage can really set you back. They are, the fines on this are quite heavy. Ooh, the roll, the roll. Um... So you want to be quite careful. This is going to split to two lanes. There you go. There's the white ones. We're going to stick on the inside here. Let gravity just take us down. And now we can accelerate. Here we are. We're already at Cambridge. Already. So your first job should only take around about 10, 15 minutes. Shouldn't take any longer than that. We're absolutely flying. Make sure no indicators. There you go. See, the trucks just pull out of nowhere. We're just going to sit behind. We're not going to rush or anything. We're not going to keep changing lanes. We're looking at the sat-nav. We're going to keep behind. Follow the speed limits. Because obviously when he breaks, or she, because you can pick men or women. When it first came out, I think you could only be a man. And now it's men or women. Um, we just want to, you know... There you go. There's the break. Brake lights on the back of that are not very good. I can't really see them. There's a speed camera. You do not want to be caught speeding. So it's 30, so we want to stay at 30. That coach is going faster than 30. Here we go. Cambridge discovered our first new city. Just now. Going round, there we go. So that's got some, a bit of grunt. Right. So at the roundabout, we're going to go uh, left, and then we're going to go right. So just make sure nothing's coming. Nothing's coming. Switch into this lane. We're going to go right. That's a different company, obviously. Euro Acres, is everything. I haven't got any mod packs put on the game uh, in the Steam Workshop. Obviously, you can you can get some of those. Are they are they letting me go? The AI in this game is a bit stupid. Not going to lie, um, it's not the best. Okay, we're gonna go in here, Transdev. So now, Transnet, I should say. Right. Now we get to park our trailer. So let's just put the parking brake on while we're here. Uh, let's go in. We want to do as much XP as possible, which is the 90. If you're new, you might just skip or whatever. But I'd say if you are brand new to this game, at least do the 15. Learn how to park and progressively get more up and up. Um, right, I want to do that. I want to put the hazard lights on. Because we want to warn basically other people that we are turning around. You can see here different types of loads as well. So you've got a refrigerator all the way over to the left. And you've obviously got a, uh, a dump truck in the middle. You've got a flatbed. You've then got a curtain cider and another curtain cider. Uh, you've got other trailers as well that are available like uh, vans, van trailers, like for dry freight. It's behind us, we obviously, we're pulling a log, which is... Um, which is different. Uh, right, I want to straighten up the steering wheel. We want to shift down into reverse. We want to have a little look over. A little look over. Right, we've got both mirrors. We are aiming for the white bit. So if I, if I actually go here, we are aiming to park into that white bit over there. Now, obviously, you can, you can park like this here. You want to turn opposite 
to where you want to go to get the trailer in line. So we're going this way first, and then the trailer's now going the way we want it to, so now we can go back the other way. And just keep aiming, so now the trailer isn't fully over. I haven't actually got the angle properly correct. I don't know if you can see in that mirror. I don't think I've got it properly correct. So we're just gonna we're just gonna pull forward actually. More into these bits here. We're gonna straighten up a little bit. And now we're gonna go back. There we go. And now we go backwards. Right, we are definitely wanna go forward. And now you can cut. You can see actually in my um, right-hand mirror. You can see that box, and it tells you there. So you know you're kind of near, and you'll know you're there because it says "finish it for you," which means you you know then that you are um, on the right path. You just kind of want to keep it straight as you're going backwards. You don't have to get it perfectly within. As you see, there you go. Do that off there on and then let's uncouple. I kind of need to set up a button for the uncoupling of the trailer. But there we go, we've got an excellent. Uh, you see, we've done 75 miles, we've got 1513, 121 experience, plus the 90, 201 XP, 1513 pound. And we've leveled up. Now, free as the wind. This will probably get us into like the next tutorial of like stuff to do. Just let it load the game. So here you go. Here is our depot. Uh, we can continue. It's yeah. It's it's pretty basic. It's stuff you can only fit your truck. This is obviously back in London. Only the base one will look like this. Every other garage you buy will look, will, will have a three and stuff like that. But, but as we progress further in, you'll see how that goes. So, uh, yeah, we're getting through all the way through that. Now, uh, new upgrades unlocked because we've leveled up. What can we actually buy? Uh, for Mercedes, we can buy some, buy some bars. I think, did we not get a level? Yes, a skill. Here we go. We can unlock a skill. Now, the thing to do is really long distance is just get that eco. Don't don't eco is the last one. Just don't bother with eco. Um, get long distance all the way as you can, because the, the, the more distance you do, the more XP you can get quicker. Uh, you kind of want to unlock then one of high value, one of fragile. Uh, 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 keep them at one and then go all the way up the ADRs and then go one for one, one for one, one for one, and then. Well, actually, no, no, sorry, one high value, one high, one fragile, uh, uh, then. Then just in time, then all the ADRs, then one for one, one for one, one for one, and then just in time all the way up uh, after, and then it's eco. That's That's how I do it. People do it other different ways, but that's that's how I do it. So we want to do the long distance because we're driving other people's trucks. We don't really care. Here's an email though, uh, and obviously here our nearest our nearest well yeah it's Plymouth not Portsmouth. Our nearest dealer is in Plymouth. This is new to the game now, so this wasn't available until this. Well, I think just just recently, just recently this was actually used trucks are now up for sale. So I actually want to see this. What used trucks can we buy? So here we go. One, two, that, that, that. This is this is now you because this was available on UK Truck Simulator and all that, and it was never available on here. This is new. So if you are a new player, you you've got some some better things here because this is uh, a look at this man TGV here stuff like this here. Um, we kind of just want to look at the price. What dumb games? Kind of look at the price. There's there's. There you go, there's the pictures for those. Um, but yeah, if we go Mercedes here, there's only one available. 
There's only one available. 75,000. Obviously, we can't afford that. We're at 3,200. Can't afford that at all. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot better than before. Um, now we're going to look at the job market. So a quick job's all we can do because we haven't got any of our any of our trucks yet. So if I go back to the job market, when you've got your own truck, you can then unlock freight market. And then when you've got your own trailers, you can unlock cargo market. This here is then unlocked for World of Trucks. So if you don't have a World of Trucks account, get a World of Trucks account, connect it up because it unlocks so much more and you get uh, a lot more XP and a lot quicker going up and then convoys if you want to play with your friends you can then go on the convoys but if we do quick job uh we can obviously select from the two cities we started with so we started in london and now we're in cambridge uh you want to go price per distance uh and we've got this obviously london over to felix though um but the, the map the map is now a lot lot bigger so if we go to the world map the map is a lot bigger than before so we've got obviously the United Kingdom. We've got down here Spain, Portugal. There's no Andorra, um, but there is France. There is obviously Corsica, uh, the two islands down there. You've then got Italy, um, uh, Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg is in here. Um, you've then got all of this. This is the new bit that's just been all added on. Uh, sorry, Istanbul. No, listen. The new. Sorry, the new bit's all this side here. This is the newest bit to be all added on. So as we as we go along, we'll uh, adventure more and more. I have got all the DLCs, every DLC. Yes, uh, I haven't got all the new trailer DLCs. I looked at the trailer DLCs. Um, uh, and I wasn't I wasn't kind of like God, they don't, they weren't really that great for the money. But um, yeah, we've got all that there. Um, so we're going to expand these. Uh, I've somehow placed these markers. Uh, don't worry about that. This is this is if you want it like adventure. You'd like go marker here, marker here. You know, you can reset the navigation. So from here, go to here, and it will tell you how to get there. Um, but we're going to go in here. Uh, um, uh, and our, our prices at the moment aren't that great and our distances aren't that great either. They're only look, you know, to Felix though, it's 92 mile. It's not going to get us that great to, to the next level. Uh, if I get on career, so here you go career, you can see your, your progress over time. So how many deliveries you've done. The map, how long you've mapped, the trucks you've owned, penalties. So just look, you want to keep this as low as possible. Um, and delivery log, here's your delivery. So, um, yeah, you want to obviously have everything in the excellent, on time, undamaged. You want to have everything like that. Um, obviously, to the top. Um, two hours driving, that one there. Uh, but here we go. Yeah, look, 11 XP out of 500. So we have, you know, we're not going to get to level two. I think on the next go, we need to unlock quite a few distance ones. Drive other people's trucks, you know, build the money, drive their trucks because they, they have the more powerful trucks. You're not going to get a big, powerful truck in the high, low levels. You need to level up, get the more powerful trucks. This is just in case people haven't watched it before, because obviously it's like brand new episode and stuff like that, you know. Um, if they've never if they've never played this and they want to play it, it's just an easy way to get into it. Obviously, I know this game has been out for twelve years, um, but anyway, in the in the in the next episode, then what I'll do is we will obviously select. The highest payer is probably this job here and go to there uh, and we will um, then continue and progress. So um, I know it's a really short episode, but obviously it's uh, the first ones as we go longer and longer, they will get the episodes will get longer and longer.
There we go. So uh, in the next episode, we'll do the next one and we'll travel along there. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. If you're watching YouTube, follow me on Twitch. Trying to get to 120 followers and affiliates. If you haven't followed me, please follow me. It really helps me out. Trying to get affiliated. Um, uh, <laughs> just something I want to do. Uh, also, check out the other social medias as well that are linked down below. Uh, and check out the... Um, the follow, make sure you follow the Instagram uh, that lets you know when I'm live and what I'm doing and 